welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a spring haul of all the home decor things that I've gotten within the last month or so. There's a lot, so I'm gonna try to get through it as quick as possible. Um, I think there's some really good things, so I hope you guys enjoy and get lots of ideas and inspiration. So let's jump into it. What I'm gonna show you is this beautiful dried floral. These are actually dried olive stems. I got these from Etsy. They're beautiful. I've seen all kinds of designers using them, but usually they use a ton of them. They're not that badly priced. I think that they're gonna last a while, so I'm pretty sure they were about $15. Um, they don't really have a smell, which is good, and of course they don't shed everywhere with like a lot of dried florals, so I highly recommend these, and I'll definitely link them below. I think they're beautiful, and I can't wait to show you guys how I style them. I think I'm gonna put them in my kitchen, but we'll see. So one of the things I got from Amazon was this beautiful vase pitcher. Um, I got this about a month ago or a month and a half ago. I used it for my winter decor, but I thought it was so gorgeous. You can definitely use it for any season. I just like how this is super shiny and then this part is matte. I like the handle. Um, I think it's a good size and it was a good price. A lot of vases like this, especially from uh, Amazon, can be pretty pricey. So this one was unique and I got it from the Creative Co-op Inc. So this one's really cool. I like it. And then the next thing I picked up, I know you guys can kind of see some of the stuff here, but um, I decided to pick up this vase. Now, I thought it was gonna be a little bigger, but it's actually kind of small. If you look at the comparison between this vase and then this one, you can tell that this one's definitely smaller, but I like the details. Let me see if I can turn it down just a tad. I'll try to get some clips of how I'm gonna use this but you can see there's like a divot here. It's definitely imperfect. It has all kinds of character. It's got just a tiny little um, opening in the top for some sort of floral. I just think it's really cute. It was about $30. Like I said, it was kind of expensive. I was thinking about returning it, but I don't have anything like this. And I think it's super unique and I like it a lot. Definitely looks homemade, so I'm gonna keep it. The next thing I got was this cute little pedestal. It has the cutest little legs here. This is the, no, I think this is, there's two sizes, so you can get a smaller one or an, a little bit of a bigger one. I'm pretty sure this is the bigger one, but I'll link both because they're super affordable. They're both under $10, so whatever one you go for, I don't think you can lose, but I really like how the top looks handmade and imperfect. It's like a clay feeling and I love the legs. I use this for my winter decorate with me as well. A lot of these pieces can be transitioned into any season. You can use these all year round. So I feel like you should buy more things like that. Anyway, if you're gonna purchase things, just be very mindful. But this is cute and oh this was from the creative co-op as well and i love the tan color i'll show you with this one this one's like a super white color and this one's more of a tan and then the next thing i picked up was this candle snuffer and candle trimmer i felt like of course i needed some of these everyone has them so they look pretty handy and I'm gonna tell you they are super handy because this thing actually does put a candle out really quickly and the smoke doesn't flare up as much as what it normally would be do if you just blew it out. So I got this antique color, which I think is beautiful, but they have black, they have gold, they have 
silver maybe i don't know but i really like this antique color it's pretty you guys please ignore my nails they are horrid right now so i was trying to resist buying the marble tray from target and i wanted to get something a little different so i got this marble tray and it's more of like a soap dish. You can kind of see some of the marble grain. I think I like the marble tray from Target more just because it has some more details to it. And I'm all about like little details. But I thought this would be fun for soap or jewelry or even putting like this kind of stuff on it to lean on a book. So it definitely won't go unused. Um, so I think it's cute and it's worth mentioning. The last two things I got from Amazon were these beautiful marble candle holders. They are from Bloomingville. Wait. Oh. Oops. They are from Bloomingville. And I think that that's kind of like the creative co-op. Like they got the same kind of vibe going on. I really want you to see the details in this because they're gorgeous they're super heavy duty i keep on saying there because i got two of them i really love how these go together i like this one is more gray and this one's more beige i like that their height is different i like that this one's a little fatter i think it's really cute i love the way it looks with the candlesticks in them and I'm always getting like matte black or gold candlesticks so I thought this was a great take on something different see that one's gorgeous too you can tell it's kind of melting down them but I love that look so I love that stuff and that was everything from Amazon Hi you guys, I wanted to interrupt today's video for just a moment to share with you this jewelry company. It is a premium artisan jewelry company and the name is Julia. When they reached out to me, I looked at their website and I was blown away with the beautiful pieces. There are gorgeous bridal sets. There are custom things that you can do bracelets, earrings, anything you could think of. They have premium stainless steel quality pieces that you will not regret purchasing either for yourself or for a loved one. Of course, you can pick up a Mother's Day gift early so you're ready and prepared. This is a great company and I really hope you check them out. And with that all being said, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. It actually came in a shipping box and then when you open it up it has a beautiful black box that has Julia on it and when you open it you're gonna have this bag here which I think is such a sweet touch and it has their company logo on it and then they're gonna have a couple pamphlets Underneath all that stuff is this beautiful little box that again has their logo on it. It is too cute. So when you open this up, you're gonna have this wrapped around your ring, which indicates the size. And this is the piece that I chose. I've always wanted a beautiful ring like this. A gold girl, I love gold jewelry. So that's what I picked up and I think it is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I really love this piece because it has the diamond detail underneath and on top, and then also, of course, around the band. So I'll link all the information down below. Just click the link and it'll take you right to their website and you'll be able to see all of these beautiful pieces. I can't wait for you guys to check it out because it's gorgeous, you guys. Like, I swear I would not bring you companies that I did not think had the quality, the customer service, and the integrity. And it's there and you won't regret checking it out. Thank you again so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it so much. And let's get back to the video. Okay, so I got this from Hobby Lobby. 
It's a beautiful vase made out of like super sturdy material. I love the texture on it. You can see it's super textured here. I think it's a different take on just your regular standard vase that goes up. But if they made one like this, that was whole, I would buy that one, I think, too. But I really like this. I think it'll look cute. Style on a shelf, on a book, wherever. Really, really gorgeous. It was only $12.99. And of course, if you wait until their vases are half off, you'll get it for six bucks or $6.50. But this is really cute. I love the color and the texture and I definitely recommend this. So everything else I got from Hobby Lobby was um, stems. I picked up these, I think everyone calls them asparagus stems. I don't know, it doesn't really say that. I might have got the wrong ones, I don't know. But these are really cute, super vibrant and my favorite part of them is you can like you can spread them out and bend them all kinds of ways. Like whatever way your heart desires, you can spread them out. So I think they're really universal that way. They were original $6.99. Of course, if they're 50% off, it's like $3.50. So that's a great deal for filler. I actually got four of these and I'll show you how I used three of them in just a minute, but I really do think these are worth the purchase for sure. The next stem I got was, I'm pretty sure they're called Cosmos. I've seen everybody use these. They come in multiple colors. I really like the white. I did notice that they, not all of them have flowers. Some of them are like, if you can see, some of them are just like the bud part which I thought that was defective at first, but I think that's just how they are, which kind of gives them some more character. I got four of these. They're $7.99 full price and of course half off. I really like how they look together. And again, these ones bend really well, so it gives them a little bit of a wispy wildflower feel, which is definitely like spring. These are gorgeous. I got some more from Target and I wanted to show you guys and compare them and you can see what one's better. Yeah, on your nose. I like these ones better truthfully because I think they have more color dimension, but I do like the other ones as well. So these are gorgeous and I definitely recommend purchasing these for spring. So I got one more floral from Hobby Lobby. And they are these hydrangeas. I think they're hydrangeas. <laughs> I really like these. These are the artistry line at Hobby Lobby. And I think they have a super real look to them. I like the darkness of the petals to the light color of the flower. And I also like the dimension of the flower and how it has like different tones in it. A lot of the ones that I've seen on, well, pictures on Amazon and at other stores, I felt like didn't have like as much of detail as these and they bend really well as well. So I got three of these. They're originally $10, well, $9.99 and 50% off of this, so. I really like the stem too because they're super long. One more thing from Hobby Lobby I wanted to mention is the wicker planter. I love this thing. I used it during Christmas. I think if you use wicker during like springtime, it could be very beautiful as well. Um, so I wanted to mention it because I think this is a great purchase but it was in the section that you don't get discounted on their planters. They just have like a pretty low price on it already. But this one is gorgeous. And I had some maroon, beautiful like florals that I got from Amazon in it and it popped so good. So I really like that it is lined with this plastic bag. If you wanted to actually put a plant in it, you could, but this is a great purchase from Hobby Lobby. 
So next I'm gonna move on to Walmart. I wanted to show you some planters that I picked up. Um, I'm sure if you're on Instagram, you've probably seen them maybe on TikTok too, but these are really good and I recommend them because they're cheap and if you don't wanna go out and spend like $30 on something like this, you can definitely go to Walmart and pick up something like this. And this is a planter, but you can use it for just about anything. It has this red scallop detail. It's like a pedestal. This is the bigger one and I got a smaller one too. I'll show you the comparison in the two. So this is the smaller one. It looks the exact same except just in a mini version. This one's under $10. This one I want to say is around $14. I think I'm going to put them together on my outside table with some plants in them. I think that would look really cute with like the double look. But like I said, if you didn't want to go and splurge on something like this, you could definitely get a similar look with this. I know it's more modern, but it's affordable and it's also just as gorgeous. I think I really like the small one. I couldn't find the small one at first, so that's why I picked up the bigger one, but I'm not gonna return it because like I said, I have this idea to put them together on a table. I think that'll look really beautiful. Next thing I got from Walmart was this black, like, I don't even know how to describe this, but it has a really cool texture to it, like rough. Um, I guess it was terracotta at some point, but they sprayed it black. They also have it in white. You can use this for just about anything as well. Planter, utensil, crock, um, just the vase, like florals coming out of it. You don't have to put anything in it. Super affordable and you know, you can definitely get the look for less with this. So the last thing I got from Walmart was this beautiful vase and I'm gonna take this out of it because those are the stems I got from Hobby Lobby. This one I also used in my spring entryway refresh video. I think it's gorgeous. It has like a wood look, but not because it looks clay and it's just very affordable. And I would definitely pick this one up out of all of the ones from Walmart. This one I feel like is the most universal and more bang for your buck. And when you put these beautiful stems in it, cause they're just so vibrant, it just looks really good. I would definitely snag this up at your Walmart, you guys. So I have two more stores left. The next store I'll talk about is Target, of course. You can't do a video haul, decor haul video without Target, you guys know. <laughs> so, I was telling you that I got the Cosmo looking flowers or daisies, whatever these are. Um, this is just a faux Cosmo. Oh, Cosmo. So these are Target's Cosmos and I think they're gorgeous. The pot is cute. It's like a green color, but I actually, when I style this, I put it inside something different because this is just a little bit I don't know, this color, it's beautiful, but it's just like not my aesthetic, I guess you can say. But um, you could also DIY this into a vase that's a little more like rustic looking. But I wanted to show you these Cosmos compared to these. And you can kind of see, it's so bright. Hopefully you can see the difference. This one has more of a brown tone. This one's brighter. The Target one's brighter. So $16 for four of these and then $20 for this with the pot. So I don't know if you already have pots, I would just get the ones from Hobby Lobby. I might return these, but I could probably find a place for them. So we'll see because I do like these more so definitely go with the Hobby Lobby ones if you I just feel like these are a better deal 
But this one's not bad either because some people, they don't have Hobby Lobbies around and Target's pretty much everywhere. So this is gorgeous, but I definitely like the Hobby Lobby ones better. The next thing I got from Target was candles. This is the Clarity scent. They have like white, gray, I don't know the other colors, but white and gray for sure. I really like the gray scent. I don't know what what the name is, but I think I'm gonna go back and get that one. In. But you can see the difference. They're the same price. This one's a little bit smaller, but the texture on this one is so much better. This one's smooth. Oh, this one doesn't have a sticker on it either. They just have the name and the top that you can remove. But they're $12.99. And this one I've had forever, you guys. This one's a little bit more, of course, because it's bigger. It's the three wick. I've been burning this for years now. Same scent. It's gorgeous. I love it. This is my favorite candle. Definitely worth the splurge. Like I said, I think they burn super clean. I'm going to show you in a minute one of my Bath & Body Works candles that I just recently picked up and the like color inside of it is insane like i said this one's been burning for years and there's not much in here that's like soot wise but this candle which smells amazing in the packaging is gorgeous it's more of a matte like light bone color it's fiji white sands and it smells so good I've been getting away from Bath and Body candles, Bath and Body Works candles, because the scent is just so strong when you burn them. This one is not like that. It's really good. It smells so good. But I burnt it for no time, like very little time. And you can see all the soot inside. I just used those candle snippers and cut off some of the stuff that was here. It was not good. You can tell these probably are not the best for you. They say they're natural, made with essential oils, which is awesome, but I got this one on sale. Never buy your Bath & Body Work candles full price. They're $26.95, but you can definitely get them like half off. It's fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, sandalwood, and natural essential oils. Really good, you guys. I think they would do well for like a rebrand of natural candles i don't know we'll see maybe they should talk to somebody about that and i also use this cute little basket that i got from target of course in the hearth and hand section i think it's made for like your toilet paper on the back of your toilet but i just put this candle in it and i think it looks really cute when you're burning it doesn't like get the wicker hot or anything but Definitely, you know, just watch it if you are burning a candle in it. Like I said, with the wicker, my cat's trying to get in all these florals. With the wicker basket, wicker is really good for spring. I feel like it's good at any time, but spring, I feel like it just brings like a light freshness. And I don't know, it just feels springy to me. So I picked this up. And you can use it for about anything like a lot of these pieces, but this is what I use mine for. The last thing I picked up from Target, I couldn't handle myself. I got the marble dish. I just seen it and I love how grainy it is. I love that it has grays and tans and beiges. It's just beautiful. The scalloped edge is pretty as well. $25 and I wanted to show you this one, you can see the difference. This one's way smaller. I don't know, I would definitely pick this one up, I think. This one is better for your money, but this one's not horrible. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than 25. I'll link it below for you guys, just in case you want the look. Um, but this one is gorgeous. Oh, I lied, I always lie. I got stems. I got stems from Target. I bit the bullet and got the stems that are $15 a piece, you guys. They are so much, 
I found the $5 ones that look similar, but they are just not what you get for this. These stems are so long. I know I made a mess. So wispy. They're just great. <laughs> great quality. I did order some from Amazon, but they won't get here until like the first week of March. And I wanted to compare them for you guys side by side to see what one's actually better, Target or Amazon stems. Cause I know people rave about both. Um, but right now all I could get my hands on were these. I actually picked up four stems. I'm using this one in this pot that I got from Target a couple seasons ago. It goes with everything. I love this bright color. It's gorgeous and you really cannot go wrong with them. And now we're gonna move on to TJ Maxx because I wanna show you the pots that I picked up. These are so heavy, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I found this beautiful terracotta pot. It might be meant for outside, but mine's staying inside. It is gorgeous. It's huge. It has a great like shape to it. I love that these handles go all the way around. And this was only like $24. I can't believe it. I was like, what? I I felt like I was stealing it or something because you know these things can be so pricey. If you don't like this natural color, you could definitely DIY this and do any color you want. The gray, the black, whatever. It's gorgeous, but it's super heavy. I'm gonna whip the camera around and show you guys this because it's heavy too. And this one took everything just to pick it up. So let me show you. All right, you guys, so I put it up on the table. This one was $24.99 as well. It's huge. I love the low profile of it. I just took all of my olive branches. Of course, I feel like everybody has a ton because that was the thing, especially last year. I took all of my olives, the fake olives off of it. I think it gave it a higher end look and I just think it looks so good, like just shoving a bunch of florals in a pot. I love this look. This is really cool with the handles. It has this round piece coming off of it. I've seen this on a lot of high-end designer sites as well. And like I said, if you don't like the color, the texture's there, you can change it. So. I think I'm gonna keep it in this color right now because it's light and bright and I'm loving that right now for spring. So this is what I think I'm gonna do either on top of my refrigerator or on my island. They had a ton of those kind of things and I tried to help myself and only get a few. This one I could not pass up. It's this smaller planter they use it as a well they describe it as a planter same texture terracotta feeling i just put my clothes pins in it i like the size of this this was like ten dollars the handles so cute and high end you can't beat tj maxx's prices on planters and vases stop by and look in their planter section. You will not be disappointed. And with that being said, that is my spring haul. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you consider subscribing, liking, and sticking around. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.